Hello and welcome to Indian Standard Time. I am Akhilesh Suman and you are watching Raj Sabha Television. We have very special guest today, Dr. Lobjang Sange. Welcome, Dr. Sange. Thank you very much for the invitation, Akhilesh Sumanji. And it's good right, to be sir. on your show, Indian Thank Standard you. Time. All right, sir. It's my privilege. Uh, sir, you know that we are living in a very difficult time and coronavirus has spread all over the world. Tibetans are a community that is also spread all over the world. In India also, they are in a very good numbers in different clusters. So what is the situation of Tibetans in India as far as coronavirus is concerned? So far, you know, not many Tibetans uh, are infected. So we have around six cases, mainly in Delhi, right. those who visited hospitals. Other oh. than that, in, in all the Tibetan settlements all over India, uh, we didn't have, uh, you know, uh, many cases so far. Right. So, you know, what we have done is we have put quarantine places, 83 different community quarantine places. 83. And we have, yes, and then even though we have only around 42 settlements, okay. so we have made sure that wherever there's a cluster of Tibetan communities, we have quarantine places. So anyone who comes from orange or green zone also, we put them in quarantine places before they move on to their homes. So they must be quarantined for seven days to 14 days. Right. And then we also, uh, you know, do uh, testing. If there's anyone who has any kind of symptoms, we make sure that they are, you know, they do the test. And until the result is negative, we also put them in quarantine places. So that's how we have managed to prevent. But then, unfortunately, one Tibetan died in Delhi. Okay. Um, and then few cases in Delhi so far. So in Delhi also you have a quarantine center? Uh, yes, we have quarantine center. But then, you know, in Delhi, except for Majdugatila, Tibetans okay. are, you know, living in, you know, along with the local communities. You right, know? right, right. So, so that's how, you know, it's quite difficult. Right. So um, the quarantine facility that you have created, it is, you know, separate than the governments of India or state government's quarantine centers? Uh, it is separate because as per the government of India's directive, you must have quarantine places for people who come from red zones. Right. But for us, anyone who comes even from orange or green zones coming from right. outside, we put them in quarantine places. Okay. And then, you know, that's how, because at the moment, there is no medicine for coronavirus. Right. Only, you know, preventive measure is quarantine places and in social distancing. And right. then we also provide them, you know, uh, Tibetan medicine. And we sanitize the whole settlement. Depends. We, some we do once a week. Some we do, you know, two, two times a month. So we have been very careful and we have locked down all the settlements, all the schools, all the monasteries. So this is how we have managed to be safe so far. So you are telling about uh, Tibetan medicines and Tibetan medicines, uh, you know, are popular in many parts of the world and also in India. So how far Tibetan medicines are helping those who have been showing symptoms of uh, coronavirus? You know, Tibetan medicine is, you know, thousand years old medicine. Right. Right. And it has track record of, you know, helping people, curing, even some cases of, you know, serious ailments like cancer also, helping a lot of people. And during this, you know, coronavirus pandemic, the Tibetan Medical Institute in Dharamsala has come up with the prescription of 11 or so medicine pills. Right. If you take those pills, one, it helps your immunity, boosts your immunity. Right. Number two, it helps you know, uh, helps with your mental stress because the coronavirus, you know, there's more mental stress, you know, uh, with the coronavirus because you never know uh, in what's going to happen. So with mental stress, this Tibetan medicine called Agar 15 and Agar Songa 35 right. are right. very popular. So I, you know, uh, recommend all the journalists like you okay. uh, going through this tough time to try Tibetan medicine, we have you know, clinics all over India, including in Nizamuddin in Delhi. Okay. And uh, patients from all over the world come to Dharamsala for treatment, you know. So we hope that Tibetan medicine can help uh, many patients. Uh, you know, of, of obviously, it will not help you cure. 
right. help, it will help you elevate the pain and help you boost your energy and you know so so on and so forth so there are many tibetans who have taken this medicine and they found it very helpful tibetans were working in the health sector and okay. tibetans who are in the uh, front line or those who have some ailments right so we are doing the best we can and uh, many are saying it's very helpful so what is the average age of tibetans uh, who are living in india um average is i think same as india you know okay so the tibetan medicines uh, you are preparing in the same way that you were preparing earlier through the herbs or uh, they yes. are using chemi- chemicals also nowadays no 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 it's mm. chemical free uh, mm. and mainly the the herbs are collected from the high mountains you know from lahul spiti ladakh to sikkim to you know uh the in himachal area all in the high mountains you have to get all those herbs and then uh bring it here in dharamsala and this is where our institute is and this is where tibetan medicines are made and in few cases there might be few chemicals but i can assure you 96 7% of the tibetan medicine is all herbal so you have separate uh, team and group of professionals who go and collect the herbs from high mountains oh yes i think tibetan medical institute has we have a uh, college level uh, training and right. they have to go several years of training and teaching like mbbs right and then they get certificates and then they are qualified as doctors and we send them all over the world including in various parts of india no i'm like i'm asking about the collecting of herbs going yes, to the market. yeah you have you have separate uh, uh, group of people who go and collect it a separate group of people and sometimes the junior students are also sent to remote places to collect herbs and okay. then we assign some farmers and nomads and mountain tops okay you know, to collect it for us and annually they go and collect it from them okay so all your clinics are supplied with the same medicine it is procured centrally and then supplied yes that's true there is a quality control also okay that's very good thank you so much sir thank you so much um, डॉक्टर सांगे सबको हार्दिक शुक्रिया अदा कहना चाहता हूँ